Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Dinosaurus. He made his first appearance in Invincible, issue number 68, that was released in November of 2009. His human alias is David Anders, and in this form, he has brown eyes and brown hair. Although when he's transformed into his so-called Tyrannosaurus Rex form, he's significantly larger than a normal human, and he has amber-colored eyes and is covered with deep red, scaly skin. Now, David undergoes this amazing transformation whenever he has extreme feelings of indifference or is extremely bored. When this happens, he not only changes physically, but undergoes a complete personality change, seemingly being taken over by a completely different being, with David having no recollection or consent to anything that Dinosaurus has done. Which in itself does beg to question whether Dinosaurus is actually a completely different temporal being that just uses David as a vessel to come through to this reality. But that's neither here nor there. While he's in this huge form, he has vast superhuman strength and durability, being able to briefly hold his own with powerful beings like Viltrumites, while having claws and teeth that can easily tear through concrete and steel. He also has vast agility and intellect, becoming one of the more intelligent beings of the Invincible Universe, albeit he quite often uses his intelligence to complement his cunning nature. Additionally, Dinosaurus has what you could consider a healing factor, although this is achieved by him transforming back into his human form, which heals him instantly. The only notable weakness that he seems to have, especially when compared to some of these other superpowered beings, is that he can't breathe in space, which I guess seems about right, particularly due to the fact that he can't fly on his own anyway. Now we first see Dinosaurus after the Invincible War took place. He showed up on the scene and tried to stop Invincible and his other heroes from cleaning up the damage that was left, expressing that he felt the world would be a better place if it recovered more slowly and without help. But on this occasion, Invincible made quick work of him, forcing his transformation back into his teenage form. Invincible actually had almost decided to put him down for good, to make sure that this random guy would never transform back into this powerful dinosaur-like form. But lucky for David, Robot and the rest of the Guardians of the Globe showed up, stopping Invincible. They would then take David to be locked away at the Stronghold Penitentiary, where he would remain for a while. After the Viltrumite War, David would once again transform into Dinosaurus, easily escaping his captivity. From here, we begin to get a clearer picture of Dinosaurus's mindset. He's very adamant about the fact that humans are destroying the planet, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to stop this. Therefore, he next turns his attention to Las Vegas, with Invincible confronting him rampaging through the streets. But while they're fighting, Dinosaurus actually tells Invincible that he was truly just trying to scare everyone away from the city so that he could then wipe it off the map with a bomb, believing Vegas to be a blight on the naturally beautiful desert, with him actually having over 50 different devices planted throughout the city. And when they all went off simultaneously, Las Vegas was completely wiped from the map, leaving only a giant sheet of glass where it once stood. Now, with the authorities not having the resources to actually rebuild Las Vegas, the Global Defense Agency ended up turning the whole region into a giant solar power plant that's provided enough energy to power half of the entire country while employing thousands of people. During this period, David had turned himself into the Pentagon, wanting to prevent himself from transforming again. He shared with them how the transformation happens, and they kept him entertained in various different ways to prevent him from changing. But ironically, seeing the good that's come out of the new solar plant location and realizing that Dinosaurus may have truly good intentions, Invincible tracks him down and proposes to help him with his plans, just as long as he doesn't recklessly endanger people. And while Invincible was rambling on and on about his origin story, David got so bored that he transformed into Dinosaurus and just agreed to help. It wouldn't be very long until they first worked together, actually going to help Earth's heroes after they were beaten badly by the newly returned villain named Omnipotus. Initially, Omnipotus seemed to be working them over as well. That is, until Dinosaurus snuck up behind him and crushed his head in his jaws. The duo's victory was short-lived, though, because as soon as the Guardians of the Globe recovered, they attempted to take both of them into custody, with the pair only escaping due to Invincible flying he and Dinosaurus back to his base. Subsequent to this, Invincible would be exposed to the new Scourge virus, which is devastating to the Viltrumite race, 
And when Alan the alien would seek out Dinosaurus to help him find a cure, the two powerhouses would briefly fight due to Dinosaurus mistaking Alan for an enemy. After the two reconcile, Alan would fly Dinosaurus to the Viltrumite warship in what would be a breathtaking trip for Dinosaurus. Remember, he can't breathe in space. Nevertheless, he would convince Thrag to let him use one of their labs and would begin studying on how to heal Invincible, who was being treated there. But there was a twist because it would soon be learned by Thrag scientists that Omni-Man and Invincible were part of the original bloodline of the Viltrumite King. And Thrag wanted to keep this secret so that he could retain his rule. Once the intelligent and snooping Dinosaurus became privy to this information and the fact that Thrag wanted to take out Mark, he stepped in and actually fought Thrag, but was nearly buried in the process. However, Dinosaurus always has a plan and he loves explosives because before you know it, different explosions began going off all around the ship, buying him time to escape with Mark back to Earth. Following this, Dinosaurus gets right back to his plan, setting up devices in Los Angeles and Greenland, LA to distract and Greenland to flood the major cities around the world. And after another battle and more drama with Invincible, Dinosaurus would finally agree with Mark's argument that he was insane and using extreme tactics. At this, Dinosaurus actually asked Invincible to take him down for good, thus making these his final acts. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Dinosaurus a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.